Hi lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy and I'm doing another Top 5 Wednesday. As always, the links are in the description. This week's topic is the characters that you are the most like. So kind of the characters that I related to the most, I guess. Um, and this one's really scary because it's not only about how I view these characters but also how I view myself, which is something, I don't know, it's very, very personal, I guess. Um, more so than some of these other topics. So the first character I have is Colin Singleton from An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. And I relate to uh, Colin because of the way he thinks. Colin's a narrator and so we get a very clear look at the way he thinks and his thought processes. And oh my goodness, that is me. Especially when I was in high school um, and doing all this math and science -y stuff that that's how my brain operated. I love the way that Colin goes through these like stages to get to a final thought. And if you're just looking at the beginning thought and the end thought, they seem completely random and unconnected. But because Colin had all these other things in between that I reminded him of, reminded him of they're like these stages and it does make sense. And oh my goodness that somebody gets that. I love that so much. Um, that's not a thought process that I've like encountered in books. That is totally how I think. And also the way his mind picks up on the math and the science and he relates that to kind of everything around him is cool. And not so much on the coming up with a theorem to explain everything or falling in love with everybody I meet at first sight or anything, but the way he thinks I totally relate to. Next I have the one that is probably the most embarrassing. Um, it's Loki from the Marvel Comics. This one's Agent of Asgard, so this is the good Loki. Um, but most of the time Loki's the villain and the bad guy, so not the best one to be seeing yourself as. I really like Loki because of the way that he thinks things through and the way he sees the world differently. Um, especially compared to Thor. Thor comes off as kind of a bully. Like, I do not like Thor at all. Um, he rushes in, hammer first, just starts smashing things doesn't really assess the situation, um, whereas Loki is much more likely to walk in there and kind of see what's going on and then make a decision. Um, and he's not afraid to step outside uh, normal convention and do things his own way, which I love and I totally think is something I do. Um, Loki always has a solution to a problem and uh, smart, really smart, I really hope I'm as smart as Loki or at least somewhat smart. Um, uh, Loki comes off as more bookish than Thor. There's this part of me that is Slytherin and that part definitely is like totally um, like I see myself as Loki. Loki also does a lot of uh, changing and shifting so he can change genders. He can also completely change his appearance and become another animal or just change the way he looks and I love that aspect of Loki because I have different moods and days that I feel like I want to be super dressed up and pretty and, you know, do the hair and the makeup and wear heels and a skirt. And then there are days where I am in jeans and a t-shirt like today and combing my hair was like this really awful <laughs> task. So there are different sides and different days and different situations where things would appear, I guess. And it just becomes more apparent in Loki because he can go to such extremes. Loki's the god of stories. Um, in the Agent of Asgard comics, he becomes the god of stories, on top of being, you know, the god of mischief and um, Prince of Lies and stuff. Um, which I love all those aspects of him too, that like, especially the mischief, like who doesn't want to just do whatever and have fun and play pranks on people? That's totally a side of me also. So Loki's kind of the darker parts of me, I think, but I still... I still see myself in Loki. That's probably not great. Um, except that I, I want to be a writer, so I have to be able to understand villains, right? So there's got to be some dark side to me. Not evil. I'm not evil, but I love Loki. And I think I'm like Loki. I'm going to move on now. The next character I have is Katie Chandler from the Enchanted Ink series by Shanna Swenson. Katie is from a small town in Texas and she moves to New York and while she's there she discovers that magic exists and she starts working at a magic company. 
which is cool, except Katie can't actually do magic. And I love her as a character because her special powers are just basically common sense and having like a practical way of viewing the world. And because all these wizards have had everything given to them so easily, Katie comes up with all these solutions because she's had to work for stuff her whole life, so she sees the world differently, and I love that. But basically anything Katie does in these books is how I would react to that situation. Like, she is spot on what I- she does what I would do. Um, from, you know, pointing out that somebody's doing something wrong or that something could be done more efficiently, she's not afraid to stand up to her boss, um, or talk to people who are completely outside of her jurisdiction. If she sees something that could help them, she will stand up and say that, and I think I do that pretty well at work in a melee. Um, hopefully I'm not too obnoxious about it. Katie also loves cooking and sewing and, or cooking and knitting and doing craft things, which I love about her. Also a thing I do, I love to bake and do crafts. She's not a huge fashion of stuff, I'm not either. Plus she's got this like southern hospitality thing going on where she will like uh, put other people's comfort above her own when she's entertaining, which is something I think I do too. The next book I have is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, and the character I am most like is Darcy. Um, when I first read this book in middle school, I hated Pride and Prejudice, and it wasn't until I was watching one of the movies later that I realized it's because I'm like Darcy, and they are not nice to Darcy, at least not in the beginning. Um, so why am I like Darcy? Um, Darcy's pretty um, reclusive, introverted, keeps to himself kind of thing. He has a few really close friends that he confides in, like Bingley and um, his cousin Fitzwilliam and his sister Georgiana, and even they don't know every single thing about him, um, which I definitely feel like that's it. Like I don't need a bajillion friends, I just need a few people that I can tell my secrets to or a few th people that I can trust with some big things. Um, and even then, I don't know that I would tell them everything that's going, like, I don't tell my friends everything that goes through my head. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but that's definitely something about Darcy that I see myself doing. Darcy's also not a gossip, which I'm totally not. Uh, like, when he sees, like, Elizabeth and everything, and people are asking his opinions about the Bennet sisters, he kind of just politely brushes them off, like, doesn't really give much of an answer. Um... And the answer he does give isn't necessarily what he really thinks. Because he doesn't want to fuel gossip, I think. I think that's how I view Darcy anyway. Uh, there's a few times in the book where he does something that is just really nice and kind of charitable, but doesn't want to take credit for that. Which is kind of like, I hate getting attention for things. Especially for something you should just do anyway. He takes his time also to kind of get to know Lizzie before he will admit that he likes her. Which is totally something I do also. Like, I won't just jump into a relationship. Like, I want to know them first. Um. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I'm like Darcy. The last book character, um, the one that I think I'm the most like, is Joe March from Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Uh, pretty much everything about Joe, I think, is me. Totally. Um. <laughs> I don't know if this is just because I have read this book so many times that I start emulating Joe, or if I really relate to her because she's exactly like I am, at least when I was younger. Um, I've definitely grown into being Joe. Um, so Joe is very bookish. She loves reading. She likes to write. Uh, she's creative. She's all for like doing plays and hanging out, like kind of joining in with her family and trying to help people out. She tries to help advise her siblings and give them kind of just help look out for them, which I see myself doing, especially since there's such a big age gap between me and my younger siblings, that definitely I helped take care of them. Um, so I definitely see myself as Jo. Even like her name starts with the J, I start with the J, she's second oldest, I'm the second oldest. Totally spot on, I love Jo. Anyway, there are the book characters that I think I am the most like. Let me know in the comments below what book characters you are similar to. Um, are you like any of these characters? And do you know me well enough that you think you could pinpoint me as a different character? 
big question. Um, <laughs> and why? I definitely want to why, not just you're so and so. Like, come on. Um, yeah. Peace out. I love you guys and keep breathing. Bye.